Hello friends, I'm Fida Instructor Atul Dahale and welcome to my YouTube channel. In recently concluded online chess Olympiad, Indian team is declared as the joint champion of Olympiad along with Russia. But the journey towards this gold medal was not so easy and very big role was played by our youngsters. One of the youngsters, her name is Divya Deshmukh, played some spectacular games in this tournament and one of that game which is a big big hit we are going to analyze today well indian team was going to play against Molang mongolia and in that game divya deshmukh was played against mungthul dawakhu yes in this game both the players are youngsters and divya deshmukh is definitely a stronger player against her opponent but the game turned out to be a miniature and we are going to look at what really happened in this game how divya deshmukh smashed her opponent in the style of alpha zero Yes, and the game started with e4. In this game, Divya Deshmukh was white, her opponent was uh, black. She played uh, e5, knight c3, knight c6 and bishop c4 was played. This is the Vienna game, then g6. This is a little bit old-fashioned line, but okay, there are other alternatives also in this position which are like very viable, that is knight of 6 and bishop c5 and all sort of stuff is there on in this opening. But g6 is played by her opponent and now d3 is played. Obviously, the idea is to just bishop uh, is going to be developed at some point on g5. So, black plays bishop g7. Now, here the common or you can say the normal move can be knight f3 or even at some point f4 is also considered as normal. But Divya Deshmukh come up with a very interesting idea. In the spirit of alpha 0, you can say she played h4. Nowadays, this idea of h4, h5, h6 is being very, very famous and she is going for that thing. Her opponent played knight f6 trying to stop h5, thinking that okay, if h5 is played, she can take it and uh, white will not dare to sacrifice the rook on h5. But Divya Deshmukh is a daredevil girl. She is not afraid of anything. She is fearless. She goes for h5 in this move and then after knight takes h5, she sacrifices her knight on h5. Like rook on h5 with rook takes h5 g takes h5 and the queen comes in the game now in this position the bishop on c4 and the queen on h5 is going to checkmate black's king so black calmly castled in this position now what to do well in the opening when you sacrifice some material it is being played just to get some initiative and one more thing about initiative is that you have to act very fast otherwise your initiative will be gone from the board so that's why she brought her piece in the game with bishop g5 move now the queen is being uh, targeted the queen definitely can go to e8 square but in that case uh, knight d5 is a good idea the threat is knight to knight into c6 and the queen as well as the rook will be attacked and black will be in severe trouble because you can see that the black king is already in uh, big trouble here this queen bishop is there the knight is also ready to come in the game after long castle the rook will also come on the h file and black will be just uh, hoping that how to survive in that game well this did not happen her opponent played bishop f6 and now what to do well just bring new pieces in the game that's what you need so she played knight h3 supporting the bishop on g5 then her opponent thought okay i should do something in this position and she played knight b4 trying to hit something on c2 threatening something and discouraging divya to go for the king side attack but divya deshmukh is not going to slow down in this position she thought like okay you are going to capture my rook in this position okay capture it i have already given one rook and now in the style of you can say the great masters of past like anderson and alekhine or morphy also they have sacrificed two rooks in their game and so does divya deshmukh in this game she plays queen h4 and after knight takes c2 she calmly plays king d2 her opponent captures the rook on a1 but now by sacrificing two rooks, what she has got in this position? Yes, she has got her opponent's king. And after bishop takes f6, the threat of queen g5 and queen g7 is a checkmate threat. And so she plays queen takes f6, hoping that, okay, she will do something with the material, but nothing is going to help her. She played d6. And after knight d5, the threat is to play knight e7 check and mate. So here in this position, her opponent decided to resign because 
here even if black tries to play just for the sake of clarity we'll see even if black tries to play rook e8 in this position then knight g5 is coming after knight g5 the threat is obviously queen f7 and queen h7 checkmate so if you play bishop e6 then we have a nice move that is queen h6 again the idea is to play queen h7 queen h8 checkmate and if you play bishop takes d5 then again bishop takes d5 the idea is queen h7 queen f7 check and mate and black cannot really save the game so this game was all about being aggressive the ideas with h4 h5 not giving your opponent any chance taking the initiative in the opening and such a great attacking play by the 14 years old girl who brought so much great victories for team india in this olympiad speaks a lot about her maturity also so i hope that she will become a world chess champion also in the future if you like this video do like this video and in the chat you can definitely do divya op or india op once again thank you for watching the video see you next time